Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the three best and honestly my favorite maps to do in creative to improve. And these are going to be really to improve your mechanics. I'm not going to really be focusing too much on aim, but I will be making a video on that soon. So make sure to subscribe for that. All right. So these maps that I'm about to show you are mainly going to focus on like your building, your edits and getting the timing right. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so the first map is Raiders Peace Control Map. I'm going to have the code up on the screen right now. And basically what this map is, it has lots of drills. Like right? It has basic peace control. It has these more advanced ones and has peace control tunnels. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys everything about this map. All right. So let's just go to this one, for example. Right. And in this map, it has infinite repetitions. So again, you can do anything you want. If you really want to improve your peace control, then you must be using this map. Because in this map, you're not only like peace control and practice your peace control, but you're also practicing your edit and your timing right because you're placing builds instead of editing three build ones, like I'm doing right here. Right? Also, like I said, this map has infinite repetitions, so whatever drill you're bad at, you can keep repeating it. Now, one thing you have to remember is when you're doing this, make sure to set up right hand peaks. Right? The main goal is to take safe peaks while still being able to hit the target. For example, Right here, I have the target box. I I'm not going to edit. If I edit this window right here, he's going to shoot me. So I, what I want to do is I want to edit, go side, and then shoot. So your main goal is to always try to be protecting yourself. Now, to get out of one, there's usually a blue button. I have to just kill him. Right, right there. Or you can just uh, emo. Right, so these drills are basic. These are more advanced. Now, the next thing about this map is the peace control tunnels. Now, why the peace control tunnels are so good is because... It will help you to get the timing and editing speed down. So, like edit courses, right? You're editing pre-built structures, but the exception with this is that you're actually building and editing it, which means it's way more beneficial than editing, like, you know those edit courses where you just edit um, edit uh, the pre-built, right? You're actually placing the wall down and then editing it, which will help you get the timing right and will definitely make you a better editor. So, guys, remember, this is honestly the best map of peace control timing and editing so the next map guys is they're also made from raider but it's basically the uh, three in one map it's raiders all mechanics map again i'm gonna have the code up on the screen right now but what i want to show you guys on the map is like mainly the edit timing um and the crosshair training so basically like i showed like in the in the um in the peace control round p3 you can get the editing timer right, but with here, this is a perfect example because you can just instantly go down, right? And what you want to do is you want to make sure when you're like, when you when you select your edit, you want to make it gray right away, right? And this will improve your crosshair placement. So what I mean by crosshair placement is like, when I edit it, I, I shouldn't have to like, I don't start from here and go all the way, right? If you just barely move your mouse, like if you go to the middle and just select the gray right away, I barely move my mouse and I got the, both selections. So that's what crosshair real placement is, right? And you just want to get the timing right. So the second you select, gray, and just do it, right? And this is very good to practice your edited timing. And the more you do this, the faster you get at editing. So now we're in crosshair training in, free, in his map. And basically what this is, right, is it really practices your edits to be as efficient as possible. So instead of like going like this, right, I can do that same edit, but it's just way quicker if my crosshair is fine. So as you can see here, I'm barely touching that like square and I edit it. So barely moving my mouse, I have four pieces edited and I can do it. That's basically what it trains you to do. And you can just keep repeating that, right? This is a very good crosshair training. And again, it, ha it helps with your timing and getting your, and you're getting your editing speed to be better. The third map is the one I'm doing right now, which is the realistic 2v2s. You can use this for a loan and it's very good practice for everything. Once you've done the maps, this basically spawns you in with random loot, right? And and you get you don't start with max mats unless you vote for it. And you just practice against an opponent, like a build fight. And it's just very good to warm up everything. You're edited, you're building, um, and it's very realistic. So make sure to do this, guys, every day. It's the best practice over any course. So guys, these are honestly the top three and best creative maps to improve your mechanics. Now, what I do want to say, guys, and this is very important, is that... Um, when you've done those maps enough that you've become very good or like you've improved your skill to a decent high level, stop doing those maps and grind arena, right? Arena is going to be your best friend when you want to become like good at this game because you're playing against good players and it's just 
it trains everything in you, right? Your building, your editing, right? Even like just, you know, your game knowledge and everything, rotations, right? Because you're actually playing the game. So remember to do arena to the best practice. If this helped you, subscribe, leave a like, comment. It helps a lot. So, and I'll see you guys in the next video.